Why is my camera doing that, child? I'm trying to. I love Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jermaine. If you're new here and if you're returning, what's up? Okay, so listen, today's video is gonna be a lifestyle haul video because I I can't say Amazon because not all of this is from Amazon. It's just gonna be a lifestyle, things that I use in my everyday life um, that I really, really enjoy and I wanna share with you guys and hopefully you guys may wanna try something and let me know, we could talk, we could talk. So uh, if you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay. So I think I wanna get into electronics first because I only have three items. So we'll start with this JBL um, Bluetooth speaker. I needed a new Bluetooth speaker, y'all. The one that I had was trash, like complete garbage. <laughs> y'all, I had to double back and make sure that the mic was working, everything would cut back. B, if I have to redo this, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh girl, not the lashes. Why y'all ain't tell me I could have been putting my lashes underneath my real lashes? Anyway, flip six is what it is. I got this for Christmas. Ooh, thank you, stepfather. Um, I love it, it's amazing. Uh, the buttons are here, it gets really, really loud. It has the USB-C port for charging, and it does come with it. It lasts for a minute too. Like, I haven't had to charge this thing since I got it in January. My last Bluetooth speaker, why is there a random there? My last YouTube, not YouTube speaker, girl. Get the marbles out, get the marbles out. My last Bluetooth speaker was off brand, it was trash. Um, I know this isn't the, like the top notch best brand, but it's honestly pretty, pretty decent. Like, I forgot how much it was, cause I, maybe I can just look that up. I'll put the price on the screen. But I love it, it's amazing. And it lasts a long time. Next is my headphones. If y'all, real Lizzie watchers, <laughs> No, I think this is like my second vlog that I ever, ever did. Um, I think it was the Denver vlog. And I had the Solo 3s, the Beats, but for some reason, I guess the padding was like hard and it was too small. So it was it would cover my ears and like press down on my ears. And my ears would be hurting after like 45 minutes in a workout. So I'm like, oh, no idea. And then also they broke, like, not broke, like physically broke, but I think the wiring in them it only allowed the left side, or the, I can't remember which one. Um, it only allowed one side of the headphones to work. And I was very, very annoyed by that. Cause I'm like, these are not cheap. And like, why are they doing that? It's giving very much trash. So I bought these off of Amazon actually. Srhythm is the brand. Srhythm. I was very skeptical at buying these. Cause I'm like, all right. Oh no, um, hmm. but they're great. They're not like top notch quality, like I said, but they're very, very decent for the price that I paid for them. And then you just put them in a little carrying case. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you put them in a case, but <laughs> let me see if the case is actually in this bag. I feel like it is. Actually, you know what? I think it's in my suitcase. Okay, so it comes with this case, which I think is great. It is literally perfect for going to the gym. I forgot how to put them in here and I never put them back in the case anyway. I probably should and learn how to like put them back in the case, but it's amazing. Make sure that my work stuff is in here. <laughs> it's amazing. I keep my workout band in here, chapstick, hotel key usually, or my apartment keys when I go to the gym here and I love it, it's literally the perfect size. And then it comes with this little strap thing that you can use to hold it. It comes with, not that, that's fine. It comes with the charging cord, which is also USB-C. And then it comes with this adapter uh, for the aircraft. So a lot of like first class seats, um, well, on my airline, I haven't flown first class in other airlines, I don't know. but they have the double prongs. So, and I always wonder like how people brought their own headphones and was able to do it. They have the prongs. So that, I thought that was great. So then when I do fly first class, I will have those and just use my own headphones. Cause I don't want everybody to follow it. I mean, they clean them and you know, sanitize them and stuff. But like I said, these are so comfortable too. They're very soft, like very, very soft. 
power button, the um, forward and back, and then this A and C, which I don't know what I mean. I press it and it gets like, it's like more bass, so I don't know. Please, if you know about technology, don't laugh. Or you can laugh, I don't care, because I don't be knowing. <laughs> I really don't. And then, so they're really comfortable. Oh, they're noise canceling too. So it's just enough to where you can hear what's going on, but it's not like, like crazy loud. So I really like that, like a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> so this, y'all, I thought this was so freaking cool. This is a solar powered battery pack, okay? It's amazing. So you see the green light here? It's because the sun, the UV rays are shining in it. Let me see if I can, you see that? So that's how you know it's, um, why is my camera doing that, ciao? I'm trying to, okay. Me and this camera officially got beef, like I can't, I can't. Anyway, so this solar power battery pack, whatever I was saying, um, it's great. I would say that it doesn't charge like devices super, super fast, but it will hold the charge for a minute. And what I mean by that is you plug it in and like if your phone is at like 15%, but you're constantly using your phone, it's not, it'll probably put it up to about like 30, 40, 50%. If you're like, but if you leave it alone, put on airplane mode, whatever, it'll charge it fully. And I love that. And um, the manual, yes, I read the manual. Wow, growth, you know what I'm saying? Growth. The manual said that the solar power charging is like a last resort, which I think is still pretty cool, it doesn't matter. But you charge it, um, you charge the actual battery pack with the USB C cord that it comes with. So I thought this was really, really dope. It is of size, you know what I'm saying? It's not a small little pack, but. This is amazing for like right now, I was charging my iPad because I'm using it as a monitor um, to make sure that I'm like, you know. And y'all, please, please don't mind the feet of the Pelican, okay? He got, I'm gonna figure out what to do with this space, but right now it came like mostly furnished, so <laughs> we gonna save the money where we can. So Mr. Pelican gonna have to stay for a little bit, but maybe don't worry about his feet. Anyway, I love this thing and I got this off Amazon too. Okay, let's kind of get into like body and skincare stuff. First, y'all already know. If you've been watching my stuff, if you've been following me on Instagram, I live by this ever since I bought it. Like ever since I subscribed. Speaking of subscribe, if you wanna go ahead and subscribe to the channel, come on now. Like you've been sitting here watching me talk about these little items already. You already kinda like me, you know what I'm saying? If you don't, you can still subscribe. Like, ain't no shame in your game. Anyway, AG1, amazing, 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 amazing. Like just to know that I'm getting the vitamins and minerals and stuff that I need um, and I'm not taking like little tiny vitamins here and there. Like just to make a drink and keep it going, I love it. Like. I wouldn't say it's like quite delicious. <laughs> I would not say that it's like amazing, delicious, phenomenal, best drink I've ever tasted. However, it is something that makes me feel good when I drink it. I know that I'm putting good things in my body and um, it's so easy. Like and I, I need easy, cause I'm not about to sit here and like take my little vitamins each, each, nah, I'm not gonna do that. So it says daily support for energy and immune system, which is great because you know I've been trying to like cut down on the coffee. Um, liver function, gut health, hormone function, brain and neural function, normal detox body process, what? <laughs> Body's normal detox process, ooh, chat. <laughs> Blood sugar levels um, within normal range, and then uh, it's diet friendly, vegetarian, vegan, paleo, keto, low carb. I don't know, it's just, I love it. And thank you Huber Huberman, Dr. Huberman, for even, you know, putting me on because I love watching his podcast. His podcasts are amazing. If you are a deep dive nerd like me, please go watch his podcast, go listen, you'll learn some things, okay? But it's one scoop, eight to 10 ounces of cold water to optimize nu nutrient absorption drink before breakfast on an empty stomach. So yeah, I like to drink this um, when I wake up. Sometimes I'll take it right before I go to bed. And um, yeah, highly suggest, highly, highly, highly suggest. And I think Dr. Huberman actually has a code for like the first box. Um, he has a code for the first box. So if you just go to Huberman Lab podcast or whatever, 
I think it's like, I honestly think it's like athleticgreens.com slash Huberman Lab or something like that. Just do your research, girl, and get your get your little box with some with some monies off. And I think it's eighty eight dollars a month for the subscription, which I mean honestly that's like twenty bucks. What is that? Twenty. Twenty and some change a week for nutrients that you need, so well worth it. Not my camera overheating, girl, girl. All right, y'all. So I'm back. <laughs> y'all, I had to go fix my makeup, my attitude, and my lip gloss because I was just like, yo, I just filmed the entire video on my phone. However, when I link my phone to my laptop, it lags, like the video lags. I deleted it, but I'm gonna show y'all. Like, it lags so bad. I just sat here for 30 minutes. 30 whole minutes, girl, I can't even. Nah, I gotta show y'all how bad this is. Like, I can't even fix it. I can't even fix it, and I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> can't okay look look how bad this lags the show must go on I don't have the time so I'm on my phone the quality is different I'm sorry if it sounds different because I don't have the mic I'm sorry. like I'm not fooling with this technology saying can't can I have one question you know what I can't like, I don't understand why it's 2023 and it should be acting like this. I can't. So anyway, back from where I left off in the video. I think in that video, I was um, starting with the gel, going into like skincare. So let's just start there, girl. Anyway, okay. So I got this Effaclar. I think that's how you pronounce it. E-F-F-A-C-L-A-R. It is a... Um, face wash but you can use it for your body as well if you watch my city pharma haul you know that I bought this in city pharma in Paris <laughs> when I go back I will be buying another bottle maybe two okay this is great for your skin it is so purifying like the night so I used it um, in the daytime at the beginning like the morning first time I ever used it by the end of the night I was already breaking out a little bit and I was like oh, but I was like, that is what encouraged me to keep using it because I was like, oh, we gotta get these pimples off, you know what I'm saying? And then it cleared my skin, like as far as breakouts, it really, really cleared my skin. And I was saying like a week and a half of using it every single day. Like La Roche Posay, y'all did that, okay? Y'all really, really did that. I also use it on my back and my chest as well. And it's just, it's, I love it so much and I swear by it. So if you want to try it, I would definitely try it. And it's gentle enough to use, for me personally, it's gentle enough to use every single day. Um, I think the only time that I kinda maybe do like one day on, one day off is near my cycle because I just feel like my skin is more sensitive during that time. So I will, it will dry my skin out just a little bit too much. And in that case, I will use Sephora's gel wash, which, you know what, let me just go get it. When, um, I'm near my cycle time, I will just use this face wash from Sephora, which I really like. Next up is this Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence from CauseRx. <laughs> I got this off Amazon and I use Fat Kid Deals um, code to get it pretty much like half off. So I tried it and I love it so far. I've only had it for about, y'all, I am sitting on a pillow on a stool. I just can't. <laughs> I've had it for about a week, so I don't have too much to say about it. However, after I use it, my skin looks so hydrated. Like, it just looks so plump and just fresh and just... Oh! So I'm excited to see what it looks like for, you know, a month from now to see what my skin looks like. So I will give you guys an update on this. But the girls have said this is the bonds I come. Like, juice from snail coochie? Wherever it's from, whatever it is. I don't know, I don't know. I just, in my brain, it's snail coochie juice. I, so, I love it so far. But it's only been like a week and a half. So I'm not gonna like dabble too much into it. But so far, so good. And I, my skin hasn't breaking, broken out. I definitely feel a whole lot more hydrated. My skin, you can see a visible difference in it after you use it. And I pat, pat, pat it in. I, you know, rub it in first and pat, 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 p
creams and gels. One of them is a hydrophase gel. It's an anti-hydrate, what? 24 hour anti-fatigue. Cause I was like anti-hydration, what the hell? <laughs> so this is good for like my red eye flights or like if I've been having a sleep in the world. <laughs> I will use this when I wake up and it is a gel, like a jelly. So after I use it, it just looks very, very uh, hydrated, very not dry like at all. And by the end of the day, like it doesn't even look like I've been working like crazy. So I love this cause I like you. I like wearing makeup, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I'm just so tired and I just do not be wearing makeup to work. I'm sorry, I just can't, like, don't feel like it. So this has really helped me, like, as far as the tiredness of my eyes, this is, this is a very good product. And then this one is a de-puffing, um, replenishing care cream. So it's a lot thicker and I use this every single day, like for daily use. Um, Duh, that's what that means every single day. Ooh, Listen, I'm getting hungry. This is my third time framing this, so please give me, just give me a little bit of grace. <laughs> I love this product and I will continue using this as well until I find something better, okay? I did try the Biosance. Is that what, is that how you say it? Biosance, it's like a little travel thing that I got from Sephora, like a trial size, I mean. Um, it made the under eye of my skin, what? <laughs> it made the skin underneath my eyes tingle and burn. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do, but I didn't like that feeling, so I stopped using it. It's like the little tiny trial size that they give you for like whatever points you have or like a birthday, I don't know. I didn't like it, so I stopped. I feel like Biosance is like a good brand, but that eye stuff, absolutely not. I was like, um, I don't like this. And it dried my eyes out too. So, mm -mm. <laughs> And then this Effaclar um, Targeted Imperfection Corrector. This is for the dark spots love it do you see it is almost gone like y'all it's almost gone like it's giving toothpaste too you know what i'm saying like i i should have bought a whole bunch more of these but it was very overwhelming like i said in the city farmer haul it was very overwhelming so now that i know a couple products i need to grab i'm very very happy that some of the products have been like staples in my skincare routine so um, this is also La Roche-Posay, and I have seen a huge, huge, huge difference in my dark marks on my face from acne and hyperpigmentation, stuff like that. Oh, I'm so excited. And I'm trying to be so patient, I really am, because I've seen such a huge difference already. And I'm like, okay, just a couple more months, and you know, everything should come back down, and the only thing dark on my face should be my freckles, because I can't tell which ones are, until, unless I look really, really close up, I can't tell which ones are freckles and which ones are acne scars. So I'm trying to like clear it, you know what I'm saying? So I can see my cute little freckles because they're there. Thanks to my mother, they are there. Yeah, I love it. And I will be getting more of this whenever I go back to Paris. All right, y'all. The baddie. <laughs> the baddie, okay? Trader Hoes, Trader Joe's sunscreen. Y'all, it's like clear velvet. Like I don't, that is the best way to describe it. If you know, you know. If you don't, go get you some. The only thing I wish is that this tube was bigger. It is great for traveling because it's so small, right? It's 1.7 fluid ounces. So you can definitely take this on the plane with you if you are a pretty passenger, okay? I just wish it was bigger so I can have it like one in my apartment and one on the go all the time. I bought three of them. It took me three Trader Joe's to even get to find it. I'm blaming y'all, but it's amazing. I love it, I love it. And I'm not sitting here rubbing my face for hours trying to get it worked into my skin. It is literally clear, clear, clear. Go get it, it's amazing. What's the SPF? 40, okay? I think that's good enough for your face. It is, and it smells nice too. I think as far as skincare, that's it. So let's go ahead and get to like kitchen stuff. Oh, I don't think I talked about these on my camera. I think I talked about it on my phone. So these are toe correctors that I got from Amazon by the brand Copper Compressions, I think, yeah, Copper Compressions. Let me show you. So as far as my feet, they hurt <laughs> a lot. Um, I have issues with the core of the joint underneath my toe. So you know how people that have bunions or stuff like that, it's a growth on the side of the foot. I don't have that. It is like the pain is coming from the core. Like if this is the joint where my middle fingers, where my middle knuckles are, that is the where the pain is. So there's no like growth on the side or anything like that that's like growing or there's no like rubbing of the skin and making it uncomfortable. It's not that, it's just the core. So like 
right now like if my foot was straight just focus on my hands because my, my arm is doing whatever but this if my foot was straight it would look like this right but my foot my toe is going outward so the joint looks i feel like in my brain is what it looks like like this right so with a toe corrector it pulls your toe back to make it straight again and um let me tell you something i wore these to bed one night i don't know what was going on with my little toes but when I woke up like four hours later, I was in excruciating pain. And that's not to say that these are bad. I think that these were doing exactly what they were supposed to do because my toes are so used to being like this. For so, I mean, they're not like crazy, but like they're so used to being, they're comfortable like this. So when I splint them like this overnight, oh baby, I tore them things off. But I was like, I know that it's working, but God, and that shit hurt. <laughs> it hurt, okay. And I really just need to go to a podiatrist and just get it figured out. But for now, I try to like prevent extra pulling of my toe outwards by using these. And these are the only ones that actually work and that are actually comfortable because I've bought so many different ones. So I'm trying very hard. If you have issues like I do, or you have like your toe is going that way and you need to pull it back, Please don't waste your time and money. Just get this one, get this brand. This is the best brand. Cause I've bought like four or five different kinds and I've just been so annoyed. I've tossed them all except for this. So it comes with a little board. I can't even bend it because it's so sturdy, which I really love. Um, so the board is on the inside. So let's say this is my toe, right? This is my, <laughs> I had trouble doing this the last time too. Okay, so this is my toe, right? My thumb is my toe. And this is the inside of my foot. So you put it like this and you have the board here so that your toe is against the board, right? And then you put this on top of your foot and you wrap this around. So when you look down, you should read copper compression perfectly like on each side, right? So you pull it like that to secure it around your foot. And then you take, I know this looks so crazy. Then you take this and pull your foot towards the center of your body. So it'll split your toe, okay? And you can pull it as tight as you want, whatever. Just make sure that you have a capillary refill. So what that means is when you press your toe, um, the it should go red and then it should go back to normal. Like if it's starting to turn red, you got a problem, it's too tight. And I just learned that from sports and medicine in high school. We used to wrap and tape ankles, you know what I'm saying? Capillary refill, baby, capillary refill. Yeah, that is how you use it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I try my best to use them at least you know whenever i'm home i have them on my nightstand um i try to bring them on my chairs with me but a lot of times y'all be forgetting i really do so what i really 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 need to do is go schedule a podiatrist visit and go just have them x-ray my feet and see what it is because baby if it's arthritis in my toe is this how old people feel oh my god i just want to carry every single old person and so they don't have to walk because baby from even just in my flats at work my feet be on fire when we take off and when we descend, I am in so much pain, but like, I don't say anything because like, how can anyone help me? You know what I'm saying? I'm just be complaining, but it is horrible. Like I, it hurts so bad. It really, really does. Like, oh, how'd you, eh, hoi. <laughs> eh, hoi. Okay, so now let's get into kitchen stuff because I think I'm all done. Oh, uh, this was not something that I bought. It is something from a hotel. I have a little bit of shame, I really do. However, I use this to um, put the face wash in. I just pump it in and use it so I could keep this at home in my shower. So I just use this as, as far as like a travel thing. And I just got this from a random hotel shower. This is Pascal Morabito Paris. I don't even know. This could have been in Jacksonville, Florida somewhere. I have no idea. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so let's get into the Tazo decaf chai tea, baby. Oh. I love it. And what I've learned is I am a lover of hot, creamy, rich drinks. I don't necessarily need coffee. And, but coffee is like a comforting drink to me because it has those three qualities, hot, creamy, rich, whatever. I bought this, I didn't even know they had decaf. I drink this at night when I'm craving like a hot, just a cozy drink. Like I just want something cozy, honestly. I'm a cozy, cozy girl, okay? So this has been a lifesaver because I really do this and then the tea that I'm going to show you next, which is, oh. I bought this one and then I bought a skinny chai tea, which I didn't mean to. I didn't go in there thinking like, oh, I need the skinny one. It's just that they didn't have 
the regular chai tea so i just bought the skinny i was like hmm. and it doesn't taste any different to me personally so it's fine so thank you tazo y'all are bomb like this is amazing this is so good almond milk one in one of this and almond milk and then i just put coffee creamer in there some cinnamon a little bit of allspice baby i discovered allspice oh baby it's going to everything i don't care like i made those chai tea cookies <laughs> please <laughs> um, so yeah i just make this in a pot on the stove and call it a day and it is so good i just had some yesterday it's amazing mm, thank you tazo thank you thank you thank you okay so speaking of hot cozy uh, yummy yummy top notch 10 out of 10 would recommend baby oh and mommy Beautiful. If you're watching this, mother, I love you. Thank you so much for putting me on. And my mom put me on. I'm gonna put you on. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this tea is so bomb. Y'all know I have been trying to find. I keep looking outside because I'm still. I think my subconscious is just still in awe. Well, not my subconscious, but maybe my inner child. I don't know. Somebody up in there is in awe that I'm even living here right now. Like it is a beautiful view. I keep looking at and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying to look at the camera, but I'll be like, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> so, anyway, Ticino, 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 girl, T E E C C I N O. Buy it, okay? It's amazing. It's amazing. I only have these two flavors because this is what she bought me. But when I was looking up the description, when I was looking up the links for the description box, um, I saw that this brand actually has a variety packs. They have different kind of flavors, all kind of stuff. If you want to try it, it is just so good it's caffeine free it has prebiotics in it i actually used i was drinking this throughout the video but i actually used both of these in one cup and y'all the mix of the flavor the mix the mixture the mixture then making out in my little in my little mug y'all oof it is so good add a little coffee creamer and it's like i don't know it's just a hot cozy drink and that's what i need in my life always all the time and this is my new favorite tea and until I find something better, this is just what I'm gonna have. So I saw like mocha, something like that, all kind of different flavors. So I'm gonna try, once I run out of these, I'm gonna try um, some other ones, but these are bomb. And like I said, mother, I love you. I love you for other reasons, but I really love you for this. So thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I can't remember if I was talking on my phone or on here, but the links, Amazon specifically, the links for these items um if they are amazon links they are affiliate links so i will get a small commission if you do choose to use the link if you don't want to use the links as far as like affiliated with me you can just copy and paste the title of the item into the amazon search bar because that's where i got it from i just copied and paste the title and then i use my affiliate link to link below so if you don't want to do that just copy and paste the title of the item into amazon and then it should come up next up are these canisters eee! if you if you watch my vlog, I love when black people hear something because we be like, oh, okay. I think we're just waiting for the secondary noise. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the noise that you got to go investigate. The first noise, I'd be like, shit, be quiet. This isn't going to happen again. So anyway, <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So these canisters, I think, are just so stinking cute. Look. Look how cute they are. Oh, so this is Chia Seeds. These are pecans glazed. Um, I love these. They're airtight. They have the little rubber piece on here. Okay. And then the top is like a black wood. I know some people like it for it to be just smooth. That doesn't have like a wood appearance. So that's why I'm showing y'all, uh, you know, what the top looks like. Because I did think that they were like smooth. But the wood appearance doesn't really bother me too much. But... I do like the fact that they're black. I think they come in like a natural wood too, if I'm not mistaken. Just check the um, listing. I don't know. But I got them in black because my appliances are black and like we just need to be matchy matchy in here. So they're so cute. They come six in a box. So I have the rest of them over there, of course. But I love them. They're so freaking cute and neat and just, uh. And I thought that they would have the rounded bottom like these do. And I'm so glad that they don't. Y'all see the difference in the aesthetics? Like, come on unmatched <laughs> and i love them and thank you mommy for buying them for me okay so next up are these um i don't even know what to call them jars they're not jars i don't know but i put my smoothies in here and i also use them for ag1 to shake up so they come with two different tops i think you get two of these and then the rest are the black tops which are here 
so this is what it usually looks like and so when i'm on the go or if my ag1 container like this is dirty i would just use this they are glass so it's a little bit heavier than the ag1 because the ag1 one is the ag1 one <laughs> the ag1 container is plastic so i use these um for smoothies for ag1 for regular drinks for anything especially when i'm on the go so i'll just shake it up and use it for ag1 and then the i think it comes with one straw i'm not sure but it is thicker so it's good for smoothies and it just goes in like this and it's dirty i just don't understand like my dishwasher maybe it's the seventh generation stuff that she had in here before but i don't like it man i'm gonna need to find some dawn or something because like why is this straw dirty why i just got it out of the dishwasher anyway the only thing i don't like about this straw is that it's metal I am very sensitive to like temperatures and stuff like that, especially, I don't know, just me as a person period, like scents and temperatures and textures and stuff like that. I'm very, very sensitive to things like that. So when I'm drinking a smoothie or a cold drink, the straw is cold, like really cold. And I don't like that against my lips. I don't know why. It's just, it's just who I am. Oh, I don't like it. So, and the hole is so big that you can't put a normal straw, unless I find like big plastic straws, like reusable ones that I can just use, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway, I love this thing. And I think I have four of them. Next up, ooh, one of my favorite, favorite new purchases. It took me forever to find them, but I did find them. Uh, yogurt cups, okay? They come four in a pack, they're different colors. I think I have a green, a red, a blue, and this yellow. I don't know if it's blue. I feel like it's, I don't know, whatever, doesn't matter. I love these things. They're so functional and I feel like you can use them for all kinds of stuff, but I did use them for my yogurt, yogurt down here, granola up here. Um, and then I about to make some coconut chia pudding. Hmm, Y'all know how to go, it's fire. So I'm gonna put that and then maybe fruit up here to separate the two. I love these things because number one, there's little grooves that you can use to like grip it, to open it up. And then, um, so, and it's flat at the top. So you sit it like this, put whatever you need in it. And then, take this off. So it comes in three pieces, right? Oh, girl. Not y'all seeing that my little microphone is broken and it's just hanging off the top of my camera. Girl, when I tell you it's been a struggle to film this, it has been a true struggle. We are here, we are trying. We are gonna prosper and things will be okay. Please, you were doing you were doing so good. You were doing so good. Okay. <laughs> what was I saying? So anyway, it comes in three parts, right? So when you need to put something in the top, just slip this over. Cause I don't know in my brain, I was like, how do I do this? So you flip it over, you put whatever you need and then you use this as a top to just close it like so, okay? And then flip it over and close it. One thing that I'd realized on my trip, which I didn't really realize um, when I first bought them, whew, is there's a groove on the spoon. Can y'all see the groove on it? That little tiny thing there. It's there to keep the spoon in place. So it'll click a little bit when you put it in there and it, like I'm pushing on it now and it's not budging. And I love that. I was like, wow, that's well, well thought out because like, yes. Yes, like it's not moving because it's clicked in there. Amazing, amazing, okay? They're not like the most aesthetically pleasing little cups, but they're exactly what I need and I am very, very happy that I found them. And I love them so much. And they were not that expensive at all. And like I said, you get four of them. So last but not least, ee, another purchase from Mommy. Thank you, Mommy. Ee, my pop okay they're so cute to me like they're hammered okay i think they come in like a, a royal blue as well but maybe black over here duh the handles are like a soft almost like suede but not really satin i don't know but there's like this soft finish on them they're so nice to grip and hold and then the top has the same feel to it love it love it love it love it it's non-stick i'm not too crazy about the inside like this speckle sparkle thing, but I'll take it, it's fine. I do wish it was just all black, but you know what? It kind of gives it a little bit of character, a little bit of oomph, so I'm okay with it. And just the, the design is so cute, please. Oh, adorable, okay? 
So that is, oh, I wanted to show you the difference because I only put this in the dishwasher one time. So the only caveat to this, which is not even a big deal at all, but I'm just gonna tell y'all up front if y'all do buy them, is that the metal piece here in between the pot and the handle, it will get, um, I don't know, it's not rusty, but it's like a, maybe like watermarks. I don't know if y'all can tell me. Okay, do y'all see the difference in the handles? I don't know, it's not, in, like I said, it's not that big of a deal. But y'all see, like, this one doesn't have those watermarks on it. Hello. You see that? Oh, that's good. You see that versus... Come on, work with me. <laughs> versus this. You see, there's, like, nothing. There's no marks there. That is the only thing. And I realized it before... Um, like, well, I realized it once I started using this one because this is the best pot in the set, baby. This is the baddest B, okay? This this skinny skillet, skinny skillet. This small skillet, baby, my favorite. And I love her. I need to name her. But this is my favorite pot. Even when I had my other set, the green, the cute little green set, it was still my favorite pot. Pan, whatever, love it. The small skillet, the best in the set. You can't tell me otherwise. But that's the only thing. So. That's it. So that is the end of this lifestyle haul video. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you got to this point, please like the video. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Um, if you have any items or anything that's kind of similar to the things that I've shown that you think would be great that I should try, please just let me know in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Twitter, whatever. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and think about subscribing. And then if you think about it like it's a good idea, which it is, you should probably just go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? Because you already got to this part of the video. If you get to this part where I'm just like talking, talking about nothing, you liked it. You know what I'm saying? So just like it and subscribe. Stay a while. We have so much fun on this channel. Like, we be chilling, okay? So, and we're growing. Ah, can we talk about it real quick? Go crazy. Let me check. Where's my phone? Had on airplane mode, girl, because it was dying. We are at, and I am so excited, especially the newcomers. Eee! We are at 117. I was at 88, then I was at 94. We're like the longest time. So if you're new here, welcome, girl. Girl, the hair, I can't. Please, where is it coming from? <sighs> if you're new here, hello. Stay a while. I hope you're enjoying so far the growth, the growth from my first vlog until now. <gasps> so much growth and it hasn't even been a year yet. So thank you all so much for the newcomers subscribing, for the old Lizzie watchers, not old, but like the day one Lizzie watchers. Thank you all so much for sticking around, enjoying, chilling. You know what I'm saying? Shit, like we in Vegas, baby. <laughs> anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say thank you enough, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Right, my